I entitle my reflections, We Are a Blend of Darkness and Light. So much is happening this Holy Week. Palm Sunday began with Jesus' triumphal entrance into Jerusalem and ended with his death on the cross. As I began my reflection on these readings for this Tuesday of Holy Week, I thought of Isaiah, Jesus, the beloved disciple, Peter, Judas, all of those individuals who were spoken of for us in these readings, this gospel that we heard today. As Isaiah mentioned his birth and how God called him by name, I thought of how much we have in common with him. We too are God's handiwork. God also called each one of us by name and holds us in the palm of his hands and making us a light to the nations. When we reach out to others, we allow the light of Christ within each one of us to go forth and we are giving glory not to ourselves but to God. And like Isaiah, there will be moments in some of our lives when we think our efforts are inadequate and we don't amount to all that much. Not so. When Jesus mentions that among the disciples at table with him, there was the beloved disciple. Well, we know that it was John, but there are many who say that, that, that this figure also appears in a positive light, this beloved disciple. And some would say it refers to all the faithful who strive to follow Jesus and to live his message. Yes, that's us. We too are his beloved disciples. And like Peter, we too ask Jesus, but where are you going? And to us he says the same. You will know soon enough. And we did know soon enough. For three days after he died, he rose and appeared with his disciples and others and explained more fully what he had been, where he had been, and he would be returning to take us with him when our time comes. So much of what is happening this week is a mirror into what is happening and will happen in some of our lives. If we pay close attention to what we hear today, we will see in us a little of Isaiah, the acknowledgement of a life blessed by God, yet still capable, capable of harboring feelings of failure and loss. We'll see Jesus within us hurt sometimes by betrayal. And yes, there'll be a little bit of Judas in all of us when we experience deception from others, but maybe sometimes from ourselves and that Peter. That Peter with his wavering faith, there'll be some of that in us as well. And all of this, and all of this, we are still his beloved disciples, a blend of darkness and light. And so we pray this Holy Week today, Lord, we believe, but help our unbelief.